I, oh, I pull up, I'm moving too smooth. I, oh, I pull up, I'm moving too smooth. Yeah, I got colors, I got heels. I feel like Jizzy, I got views. I use them, baby, like a mules. Play them like the ones and two. Bow! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Chad Arms, aka Chatty Bobby. Oh, buddy! And I am here with a ginormous list video for you guys and gals today. The biggest one I've done yet. 30 under 30. That's right. I'm fixing to show y'all 30 fragrances. The best 30 fragrances in my collection that you can all get under 30 bucks. Whether you get them at rack stores, whether you get them at discount stores on the websites. I got you back, baby. I got the hookup. Holla if you hear me. Shout out to Master P, baby. Throwback. We're going to get right into this. I got a lot to show you. We're not going to go super long breakdowns on each one. There's not a, It's not a countdown. It's just a straight up list video. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to hit that bell for notifications and click all. That way, every time I drop a video, one every day for sure, sometimes twice daily like the gas station, you'll be the first to find out about it, players. Follow me on Instagram, Chad Arm Show. Let's get it. This first one I want to talk about is pretty much a straight up clone to Versace Eros almost, and that is Oxford Blue from English Laundry. You can get this gift set for 25 bucks still. It's incredible. It smells very, very close to Versace Eros and almost a third of the price. You can get the gift set for 25 bucks on Macy's. If not that, you can get online and find this one for dirt cheap, less than 20 bucks. And um, it smells great. The lasting power isn't as good as Versace Eros, but it still smells very close to it. And it's a great smelling fragrance. Definitely worth it for under 30 bucks. Oxford Blue from uh, English Laundry. I got you under 15 bucks for this one. This was a brand new one that just dropped. I've got a review for it up on my channel. And it's from Rue 21. And that is Rue Sport. This one is great, man. Very, um... You get like a, a, a creamy scent mixed with like fruits with citrus. The stand power on this is only about three or four hours, but it's $12.99. It smells great. And it says that it's a limited edition. So I'm gonna have to get a backup bottle of it. This is under 15 bucks. So it's even you can get two bottles for under 30 bucks. And it smells great, man. That's Rue 21's Rue Sport. The next one is from Glen Perry. This one is great. This is gonna be a little harder to find. You may have to grab it on Amazon and stuff like that, but it's still in the cheap 25 to 30 bucks. And that is Unforgettable Pure Black. This one is a beast. Oh man. It smells so good. Got a nice like spice to it. This will be great for the fall. I speak about that in my fall fragrances videos. Definitely underrated. Nobody ever talks about Unforgettable Pure Black, but I think it's great and definitely one you should grab for under 30 bucks. Next up is one I've talked about so many times, but it's so great. It's $22.99 all day, er day at Target, and that is Cremo's Spice and Black Vanilla. This one, this one smells amazing. And the stay power on this is very nice. The, it, it, it's got that sweet mixed with that spice, and it smells so good to me. It's my favorite from Cremo, and one of, one of my favorites in the collection, I'm gonna be honest with you, if I had a top 30, it didn't make top 20, but it'd be top 30 for sure. That's Cremo. <sighs> Spice and black vanilla. Fire water, son. This next one is recent to the collection. I've been able to rock this a couple times. I love it. Fresh as can be. And that is Sean John's 3AM. This one is a beast, man. This atomizer is one of the best in my collection. Look at that. Just eases you into it. Smells so fresh, man. Citrusy, floral scents, but it, it, it's great. The stand power is not outstanding, but you're going to smell so fresh and so clean. Shout out to Outcast. When you put this on, that's 3 a.m. from Sean John. Shout out to P. Diddy. Next up, we've got one. Everybody loves Aqua de Gio. Aqua de Gio is still expensive, though. and it, you, you can get something that's similar to Aqua de Gio and way cheaper. And that is Perry Ellis 360 Red. This one is... Oh, this one's really nice. Similar to um, Aqua de Gio, not an exact clone or anything. Definitely similar as far as the, the citrus goes. Stand power on this, to be honest with you, I think it performs just as good, just as well as Aqua de Gio, and it's a third of the price. You can get these for like less than $20 on Fragrance Net. It's my favorite from the 360 line, and that is Perry Ellis 360 Red. Woo. Next up, we've got one, one of my favorite cheap aquatics. Y'all know that I love Nautica, and that's Nautica Voyage Heritage. This is my favorite from the Nautica fragrances. I just, something about this, man. That berry scent 
You get a little bit of mincy scent too. Um, and it's great fresh out the shower fragrance. One of my favorite ones. And you can get this all day, every day for 15, 20 bucks. That's Nautica Voyage Heritage. Next up is one you can get all day at the rack stores for less than 25 bucks. And that is uh, Salvatore Ferragamo's F Black. This one is great. Smells so good, man. Oh, man, this is very slept on. I've even been sleeping on it. Like, because I've got all the other stuff from Ferragamo, the, Omo, the Uomos and, and um, Essenziali uh, Blue. This one's great, man. I threw this in there from Ferragamo. I tried not to double up from any of the uh, houses as well. This is a great one, man. This is one almost everybody seems to have in their collections that collect fragrances. This one you need to add, like I said, under 30 bucks all day, every day at Ross, baby. Ferragamo F Black. I know, Chad, you talk about this too much. I've sold probably 30 bottles of this to subscribers of mine, and I don't even I don't even have stock in the company, and they don't pay me. And that's Mandarina Duck Black. I talk about it all the time. That's because it's so freaking good, man. Smells incredible. You, can, you can't go wrong with this one or black and white. I choose black because it's one of my favorite fragrances ever. Um, I love this fragrance, man. Sweet, spicy, good performer. Um, and it's under 25 bucks all day on fragrance now with that R-E-N-G 35% off coupon. That's always in the description of my videos. Check it out. Mandarina Duck Black. You. Yeah. Next up is another aquatic that I talk about on the reg um, from Kenneth Cole, man. Kenneth Cole Blue. Love it. Super fresh. I got this in a... I got this one in another bottle. Um, then a little smaller bottle that I use in the car. I just love smelling this aquatic. It, this, the staying power on this isn't great. But if you need an Aaron Runner, it's one of the, my it's one of my go-to Aaron Runner fragrances. That's Kenneth Cole Blue. Whoop. Next up is from Jesus Del Pozo. And that is Halloween Man. I didn't go with Halloween Man X, even though that's my favorite one. Because it's got a coffee note that some people don't care for. But this one right here... This is what I cannot wait to rock this in the fall. Here in Tennessee, it's still in the 80s. It won't start getting into the 60s and, and under till probably October. But I cannot wait to start rocking Halloween, man. It will be a regular, all four of them. I've got Rock On, I've got Man Shot, I've got this one, and I've got X. And they're all fire. Sorry about my dog. My dog even likes Halloween Man X. But yeah, this is Halloween Man, though, from Jesus Del Pozo, Firewater. Next up is one from Tommy Bahama. My favorite one from the Tommy Bahama line, and that is Tommy Bahama St. Kitts. This one is summer in a bottle for sure. Aquatic, sweet, citrusy, smells so fresh. I love it, man. I love Tommy Bahama scents. I've got a Tommy Bahama rankings video that'll be coming out soon. Stay tuned to that. I just kind of gave away the spoiler, but it's all good. Tommy Bahama St. Kitts. It's amazing, man. It's my favorite one. This is another one. I never in a million years would have thought Antonio Banderas made fragrances that was going to be worth the crap, but this one right here is incredible. And that is Blue Seduction from Antonio Banderas. This is the 200 milliliter bottle. And I got this for less than $30 for the 200 mil. You can get the 100 milliliter bottle for less than 20 bucks, and it smells so good. It's such a great aquatic fragrance. Stand power on it's about four hours, but very fresh. And it's just another one that's a slept on. I don't even think this one's slept on, though, because a lot of people have this one. But if you're new to collecting, you're not going to think to pick this up because you're going to instantly be like, Antonio Banderas fragrances, that's going to be trash. This is not, man. If y'all want a, a fragrance that you can get a lot of juice for and not pay a lot of money and it smell good, Blue Seduction, man. Sorry, I had a brain fart. Next up is one I talk about all the time. This is actually the, the more turned up version, but um, it's from Frank Olivier and that is Sun Java Intense. Sun Java is one of my favorites. Um, but this is just an amped up version of Sun Java. I think it smells really good, man. This is another one that's under 20 bucks all day long. You can't go wrong with this one or it's just standard Sun Java, but this gives you a little bit better performance and it's almost the exact same fragrance to me. But this is another one that's a beast for cheap, man. $20 and less. Frank Olivier Sun Java Intense. Same with that intense uh, vibe. Got Issy Miyagi's Ludissi um, Intense. This is one of my. This is my first one I picked up from uh, Issey Miyagi. I now have three from them, and this is the 125 milliliter. You can get for like 25 bucks on Fragrance Net. Great date night fragrance. Very spice heavy. If you're not a big spice heavy person, you may not feel it so much. I think it's great. Good performer. Great for the fall season. Um, it's coming up, and that's Issey Miyagi's Intense. 
Next up, we're switching it back over to an aquatic. This is a great one that I found in a rack store. Um, I think it was Ross, randomly. Hard to find, but if you can find it out in the wild, it's definitely going to be worth it. That is Tommy uh, Tommy Hilfiger Weekend Getaway. I've got Tommy behind my, Tommy Hilfiger Summer. I've got Tommy uh, Hilfiger uh, Tommy. I've got Bold. I've got Tropics. This is my favorite one of all of them. It's just, it's amped up. Well, Tommy is my OG favorite, but this is my second one. I just wanted to change it up because it would have been easy to put regular Tommy Hilfiger in there. But I figured I'd throw a little change up in there and get you get you a bottle of Tommy Hilfiger Weekend Getaway, man. It smells really, really good. And it's just a great, cheap aquatic for sure. Here's another one, man, that I really do enjoy. I talk about it a lot. One of my favorite fresh out the shower Aaron Runner fragrances, and that is Kenneth Cole Reaction. This one's great, man. It's got it's it's aquatic, but you also get a watermelon in there too, so it gives that citrus vibe. I think this one's great, man. Another one from Kenneth Cole. So I actually I did break a rule of mine. I did put two in here from Kenneth Cole, but big whoop. Want to fight about it? Kenneth Cole Reaction. Next one up, we're going to talk about is Homme Noir from Jean Marc Perry. This one's dirt cheap. It's like ten bucks. Smells so good, man. Um, I found this at Marshall when me and Big Trill was out hunting. This is a great one, dude. And it's uh, it's like a tobacco type fragrance. Sweet. Smells great. And it's only 10 bucks, man. I only can find it at rack stores, so you may have to scour those to find it. But it's definitely worth picking it up. And that's Homme Noir by Jean-Marc Perry. All right, this next one, everybody keeps telling me it is an exact clone of Creed's Silver Mountain Water. And that is Owl Rehab Silver. I've never smelled Silver Mountain Water, and for two hundred and something dollars a bottle, I'm good, Bubba. This one right here, super fresh, floral scent, very citrusy, very lemonade based. Not gonna last long, but if this is what Silver Mountain Water smells like, I'm good with this ten dollar bottle of Owl Rehab. I like it, but there's no way I'd spend three hundred dollars on a bottle um, of Creed for that. I'd rather just keep my cheapy and be good to go with it. That's Owl Rehab Silver, ten dollars, Bubba. Moving on, man, more cheap aquatic action. You know how I love this one. Hollister Wave 2, one of my favorites in the collection. Hollister is great, man. I've got several from them. This is my favorite. It's damn near, I mean, it's pretty much an Invictus Aqua clone. Similar to like Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct together. That one, though, is hard to find, so I didn't put it under the 30. This is an all-day under $30 fragrance at rack stores. Um, definitely worth getting. One of my go-to fresh out the shower fragrances, Hollister Wave 2. You know I had to show love to this one, man. It's my favorite one in the collection. It's right at the $30 mark all the time for the 100 milliliter bottle. And that is Lacoste L1212 Blanc, man. I don't need to say much about this fragrance. I love it. It's my favorite one. Still hasn't been knocked out of the number one spot. It's a must, must own for less than $30, man. Next up is another one that's really nice, man, that I'm starting to use more. I'm, I'm going to use it more during the fall as well, and that's Mont Blanc. Uh, Legend, sorry, that little fingerprint threw me off. This one's great, man. Super fresh, super clean. Um, it could really be a, it. It doesn't. I mean, it's not a fall fragrance, obviously, but it could be used really any time of the year. You could kind. Of, it's kind of a multifaceted fragrance, and it's right at that thirty dollar mark all the time for the hundred mil. You can get the cheaper ones for less than twenty bucks, probably. That's Mont Blanc Legend, man. Fire water. This next one here is what I talk about all the time. Everybody loves this one, and I'm one of the everybody's that do. And that's CK1 Shock, man. My entry into the tobacco tobacco uh, fragrance game, and I love this one, man. This is the big bottle you can get for under 30 bucks. You can get the 100 mil for under 20, and this one is amazing. I've turned several people onto this cologne, and uh, I'm glad that they like it as much as I do. That's CK1 Shock. Sticking with another tobacco type fragrance, another one that ever, nobody talks about, and it's from uh, uh, Liz Claiborne's Curve line, and that's Curve Connect. This is another one, under 20 bucks, all day, er day. Tobacco based, different tobacco vibe than CK1 Shock though, that's why I threw it in here. Um, you could really go wrong, you couldn't go wrong with any of the Curves. Um, I like Curve Spark. Not a big fan of the OG Curve anymore, but Curve Connect is a beast, man. If you like CK1 Shock, you like, um, Burberry uh, London, you'll really enjoy Curve Connect, man. It's another good tobacco fragrance. Another one, I've never smelled the uh, Creed Aventus, but I heard this is a very close uh, clone to it. Under 30 bucks from Armoff, which is making great stuff. That's Armoff Club de Nuit 
Intense, Intense Man, sorry. This one is amazing. Spicy, fruity, fire water. That's what it is. Hashtag fire water. Club de Nuit, uh, Intense Man is great. I love it. I can't wait to rock it more in the fall when it's cold weather hits. This hoodie season comes into effect and let it just take that cold to the face and keep on pushing. You know what I'm saying? Club de Nuit, Intense Man from Armoff is a legit cheap. Now, I almost put Beverly Hills Polo Club Blaze in this one. Love that one. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. I found another from Polo Club, Beverly Hills Polo Club, that I like more. And that is Beverly Hills Polo Club Ignite. This is not as spicy. I'll tell you right now, it's not as spicy. It's sweeter. This, to me, is an almost exact clone to Polo Red Extreme or Polo Red Intense. Very, very close. Blaze is, I've, I've heard, is a Spice Bomb clone. I feel like this one is a is a Polo Red Extreme or Polo Red Intense clone. It smells so good, and it's a, a fourth of the price. Um, this is definitely one I want to get a backup bottle to, and that is Polo, sorry, Beverly Hills Polo Club Ignite. It gets your tongue tied, you know what I'm saying? This one's right there on that $30 cusp, but I'm so glad it is because I get to talk about it again. I've talked about it so much. And that is Bentley for Man Intense. This one is another level. Spicy. It gives you like that soda boozy uh, vibe to it. Stay power on this is incredible. The projection is awesome. Compliment getter. You do not need much. I've worn this multiple times and you can't really tell because I don't need but two sprays and I'm scraped. You hear me? Because you're going to smell like a just a, a beast, man. I need to put a tuxedo shirt on when I wear this because it makes me feel like a like a boss, you know what I'm saying? And that's Bentley for Men Intense. Definitely worth picking up for under 30 bucks. This next one is a sleeper too. Another one, the only one I have from Guess. Rack store all day long, and that is Guess Ohm Seductive. This one's got cardamom. It's also got pink pepper. This is a cheapie. I got the 50 milliliter for like, with the, like the gift set for like less than 20. You can get the big bottle for less than 30. This one smells great, man. Another one. Slept on fragrance. Guess makes some good stuff, man. I need to get a couple of the other. I need to get Noir. I need to get the one in the green bottle. There's a lot of stuff from Guess. You can find it all day at Kohl's or Ross or Marshall's. So that's Guess Ohm Seductive. Very nice one. We got one more to show you. I lied. I got two more to show you. <laughs> you got this many, you lose count, man. This from the CK uh, Calvin Klein Eternity. There is two from them as well. We had CK One Shock. And now we've got BAM! CK Eternity Aqua. This one is great. I love summer. I love air. I don't have air. I've sampled air. I, I like the OG, the original okay. The Parfum's better, but I don't have that one. But CK Eternity Aqua is incredible. Great aquatic. Different from all the other aquatics that I've shown you, but uh, a beast for sure. For the I know summer's wrapping up, but you always... Need something, uh, you know, throw on after the shower, after a workout. CK Eternity Aqua would be one that you could throw on there and be good to go, son. Let's go. I got one more for sure this time. And this last one, man. Y'all knew I was going to talk about this. Y'all knew that I was going to talk about it. Davidoff's Cool Water Wave, man. I, I can't not talk about it. I have to talk about it. My, fav my favorite aquatic. Um, I bounce back and forth between this one and... and Hollister Wave 2, but it's Cool Water Wave is my favorite, man. Um, put a nice dent in that one. Nice dent. And um, we're going to have to get us an extra bottle before long. This is one of the best under $30 fragrances that I could tell you to get, to be honest. If you want an aquatic one, if you want something more grown and sexy, then you, I have to steer you in a different direction. But if you need something aquatic that smells great, that performs good enough for the price, Cool Water Wave, man, is where it's at. I've smelled Cool Water Wave, uh, just regular Cool Water. Not really a big fan. Cool Water Intense is dope. It's very strong um, for an aquatic to me. But Cool Water Wave, I just think it's amazing. I love it. It's cheap. My dog is getting hype. If you hear him in the background, uh, he loves it. So, yeah, that's what we're going to end it off with, man. Cool Water Wave by Davidoff. So, we did it, man. 30 fragrances under $30. Hopefully, this was a help to y'all. Hopefully y'all found something that you liked. And I love each and every one of you, man. Be sure to comment below. Let me know what you thought of my, my countdown. Well, my list video. 
Let me know if you have any of these. Let me know some other ones to check out. And as always, man, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, click all, and three things left to say to you. Love, peace, and hair grease. Woo! Yeah.